Hey everybody! I am alive! And since my voice is working, I'm recording. Technically, it's like 11 something, so you're getting these on Friday, but my throat is so raspy today. Like, I just. In the time it took me to get my voice to work, I tried to do something with my face <laughs> and my hair. And I kind of find, found a rainbow shirt. Cool, right? I love this shirt. And I'm finally not too fat for it. <laughs> Almost. You know, it gets over my boobs, most of my stomach, but then it gets down to like where your your jeans are and I still have a little boop right there. Speed bump, I call it. And it's just killing me. I could squat and sit up all fucking day, guys. It's just like, no. You have to keep me. I am your spare tire in this life and you need me. And I'm like, fuck you, no I don't. Go somewhere. Summer is here. And you're harshing my hot girl summer! <sighs> also, I like cupcakes. You know? <laughs> and I have my window open, so I'm getting hot and I'm cold. I'm yes and I'm no. It's so that kind of day, so. You know? I'm here, guys. <laughs> Try. Hold on. <laughs> Alright, let's start with some advice. This is a collective reading for everybody in the LGBTQIA community. Hi, guys. How are you? How was your week? Laugh at your demons. Exactly. I'm laughing at this fucking demon cold. Ha, 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 motherfucker. More like, <laughs> don't kill me. I'm still laughing now. <laughs> That's the point. Laugh a little, spirit sense. <laughs> Might be in a stressful love situation. <clears throat> Maybe I should just hit my vape at this point. Like, fuck it. Maybe it will relax my throat chakra. Because cough syrup and this holistic, I've tried every holistic thing I could think of. To make my throat normal. I sound like a raspy old lady who smoked 20 packs a day. <laughs> I don't know. I normally sound like my mouse. So. <laughs> Alright. Speaking of Minnie Mouse, do you see Mickey? I was like, Father's Day. I have to put Mickey there. The mini one didn't survive. A little girl took it home and her, when I was doing daycare, she kept stealing it. So I was like, just let her have it. She wants it that bad. Like, every day, her mom would come back and be like, I found her sleeping with this in her toddler bed. I figured you'd want it back. Like, she loves it. And she slept with it at nap time. Like, I'm not, I can't, I don't have the heart to be like, that's my Minnie Mouse little kid. <laughs> like an adult. I used to do daycare. Like, it's my Minnie Mouse. Like, you can't play with it, little child. No, I couldn't do that. So, I don't have a mini. Sorry. It went, went, went where it needed to go. And that Mickey is precious to me. It still has baby food on the ear. And no, I'm not washing it off. I miss that little boy. Anyway. <laughs> Correct your mistakes. Do all things in moderation. Oh dear. Social media lurking is driving you crazy. It's stressing you out. The spirit's calling you out. Stop it. Also, you're going to be seeing a lot more grays this summer. Because I didn't dye my hair for like two months now. And I just don't feel like doing it. I can I have heart palpitations every time I see how many grades I have because I'm just not ready to face the fact that in one year I'm going to be 40. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I'm not okay with it. I'm not okay. I have all year to be okay with it, but right now I am not. So I feel like instead of like, by the way, I <laughs> <laughs> I literally will sit here most of the day and laugh. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> Why is that there? That's this part. It's like, I don't know whose chair this was, but like the middle's missing. Like somebody's back had pressed up against it for so many years, for so many hours. And then it's like only padding like here and here. So there's like an air hole. <laughs> I like it. It's quirky. I like quirky things. Especially things that sound like farts. Just makes me happy. Farts are hilarious. Like, when somebody dies, somebody in the room should just fart. I think that's why bodies make fart noise when they die. It's like God's like, just let them laugh for one last time. Fart. <laughs> Seriously. All, all your poop and pee come out when you die, and so does all the gas in your body. And sometimes your arms and legs raise. It's freaky. I worked in the morgue. I was just like sweeping, and I'd hear like, <laughs> that dead person just farted. No, it was just air secreting from a crevice somewhere, not out of their butt necessarily. That's freaky. <laughs> um. I'm trying to distract you because you think consecutive, consecutively and consistently about this person. Then you go on your phone and you scroll and scroll. This might be an ex or someone doing this to you. Um, correct your mistakes. You might want to come in and apologize. Be true to yourself. This could be somebody um, maybe you dealt with when you were younger. Um, when you weren't loud and proud about who you are. Um, it is Mercury retrograde, so things like that, um, cycles that you never closed out, things you never made right that you regret, these are when things in your life start come back, start to come back so that you can complete it out, so that you can make peace and amends with that person because for some reason you going about your life and they're going about their life without that closure wouldn't be copacetic to either of you. So spirit, like, brings them back into your life so this could be maybe you want to go back to your ex and you know try to be friends or try to bring closer closure there or this could be your ex wanting to come back um or it doesn't even have to be somebody you like had a thing with it could be someone you were just experimenting with years and years ago i'm getting that energy here we go with the hot and cold like how early does menopause start? Am I that old? I'm, why am I freaking about... All week I've been freaking about my age. Like, why? I'm only 38. I still have a whole year. Why all of a sudden is 40 like... 40's not even old. Like, I know that. But I'm like, oh my god, I'm going to be 40. When did this happen? Why did I not get the... How did I get this close to 40? Like, I thought we had all these years. And I blinked. And 30s were over just like the 20s. And I'm having a moment. Maybe you are too. Maybe everybody's just freaking about something. I just feel like it's relevant. I talk about my shit when I feel like it's relevant. Or I need to distract you. Because you're stressed. <laughs> Let's get some. Do I want to do astrology first? Or details about your person? How about I just do both. And then say it all at once. Okay. I don't know um, if you're in the Divine Feminine. Uh, 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 throat chakra blockage. Holy shit. <laughs> but um, I don't know if you are the Divine Feminine or the Divine Masculine. So I'm going to say both. Also, everybody has both energy. So this could be describing your person and different parts of their personality. Or one could be you and one could be your person. Take what resonates to you. These are all celebrity. Sorry, I keep. I'm trying to. Keep, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to keep the squeak box alive, guys. This is the most I've talked in like 48 hours. <laughs> Doing pretty good. I fucking hate tea. I've been drinking tea all day for you guys. <laughs> True story. So I'm like, like, I'm not, I don't have like a breathing disorder. I just have allergies. And they cut the grass today too. So that's 
like even worse. I'm like, what the fuck? I can't breathe. My eyes are itching. Ah. I actually gave one and took allergy medicine today. It's my own fault because I'm such a holistic healer. Like, I won't take Claritin every day. I think it's bad for your body. I'll take it twice a week at most. Like, I want my body to, like, do its thing. I want it to be dependent on drugs. But then I get sinus infections. It's like a double-edged sword. <laughs> Sorry about my fridge. I don't want to talk to my ass apartment building. I'm mad about that fucking email last weekend. <laughs> Still, dinks. Okay. Astrology. While I'm doing this, I'll talk about your characteristics. All right, so for the feminine energy, we have Miranda Priestley. And that's um, Meryl Streep from The Devil Wears Prada. Head bitch in fucking charge. You don't fuck with Miranda Priestley at all, ever. You don't even look at her. When she walks, you move. Like, boss bitch. I feel like this is me at work. Like, I have spoken enough that people just don't even want to deal with me. It's your own fault. Don't treat me like shit. I know my worth and I will tell you. Motherfucker, I don't care if you're my boss. <laughs> Miranda Priestley energy. Love it. Jackie from Roseanne. Um, just, just me. Just me and my gotcha. I love that episode. If you are a diehard Roseanne fan, like the old school Roseanne, not the new age Connors, like the old school Roseanne, my favorite episode, I say this all the time if you've been watching me, is when they found the old weed and they smoke in the bathroom. And then DJ comes home and they panic and then they forget that Jackie is sitting in the tub and she's like holding the bag of weed and she's like, I got no one. Just, just me. Just me and my ganja. That's true story. Like, shout out Roseanne and Jackie. Oh, what the? Not a cool time to clog. Watermelon sugar high. You have let me down. <laughs> Just me. Me and I'm on a ganja. Oh my god, I had to change the slogan. God damn it. Styles. When you put your name on stuff, will it work, please? Just kidding. It's the first time this has done that. It's actually my favorite one. So, good job, Styles. Good job. I mean, not that he names it. He just made the song. Which, when I heard that funny story, I was like, that would make a great title for weed. Watermelon sugar high. Like if I grew weed, I would do a batch and I would call it that. And I swear to God, when I saw the vape and I saw watermelon sugar high, I'm like, those motherfuckers stole my idea again. Ah! <laughs> I hate it when that happens. Fucking dicks. It's because they have the money to do it and I don't. That's the true story. I have all these great ideas. I sit at home and I think them up like two months go by and I see it. I'm like, <sighs> if I had the money to invent that, I would have been ahead of the curve and I would have been a billionaire 50 million times over because I have excellent business sense. Nobody cares because I'm a poor person. Money talks in the business world, not spiritual shit. <laughs> you go in there and be like, invest in me. <laughs> like, I am rich spiritually. Like, spirit will back me the fuck up. I will get all your investments. And I'm like, okay, get out of here, broke bitch. Like, you are no use to me. <laughs> Fine. To your fucking self. One day I will have the money and I will invent something and you're going to be knocking on my door and you're going to be asking me for ideas and I'm going to be like, sorry, you can't help me. You don't have nothing for me. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh my God. What's wrong with me? I blame the cough syrup. All right, for divine math. Oh yeah. Jackie, let me be serious. So, this could be someone, like I said, from middle class. Jackie was a cop. She had all different kinds of careers. So, it could be like a jack of all trades here. Very funny. 
Um, good family member has maybe sisters close with their family. A little bit over dramatic, like Jackie was a drama queen. But the drama you love, like you eat that shit. I love Jackie. Like I ate Jackie's character up, but she was a hot ass mess. And like you stripped down the TV show, like that bitch was a hot ass mess. She couldn't keep a man. In the end, she turned out to be gay. That was like so shocking to me. I remember that episode. LGBTQ? Oh my god. I don't want to ruin it, but like you don't find that out until the very last episode ever on that show. So you're just like what? So this whole time she was going through women and not men? That makes so much sense. <laughs> like, oh my god. And doesn't ruin much about the show because even if you know that you just get sucked into the story you're going to forget about. But like, whoa, did they put spin on that show? And everybody forgot about that when they did the reboot. Like, do you know how you ended that show? Because Dan was dead and Roseanne was not. Now Roseanne is dead and Dan is not. And she wrote a book. She never, like, <laughs> like, what? <laughs> you can't do that episode and then do this show. I had to pause and get my tool for my vape. <laughs> so I was just looking at it like but anyway they got away with it with the couples because at the end they switched who was with who and what was with what and they ended up being divorced and shit anyway so it's, just, it's weird anyway let's talk about masculine energy fuck my life I didn't do this one Alexis Rose from Schitt's Creek <laughs> this one's been coming up a lot like think about Alexis she was like very like Oh my god, Becky, oh look at her butt. It's just so, oh my god, stop it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, she's so, like, <laughs> animated. I don't know how to describe it, describe it without doing it. Just like, oh my god. Like, when I think of Alexis, I just immediately do, stop it. Stop. Special. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> I can't think of her just normal. So I was like, mm, boop. If you watch a show, you get it. So I feel like this person was just like, has like a cork, like a, mm, mm. I don't know, something weird and cheesy, but them. And now I'm, now I can't stop. Maybe they talk with their hands. Stop it. I want to sit on my hands so hard. Because I, all I want to do now is like, mm, boop, collective. And we go, Becky. Why is Becky like this? I don't know. Why is this the language for prissy bitch? Like, <laughs> when do you, like, do you just see prissy bitches out there just, like, all of a sudden step on the sidewalk and be like, hello, hello world. Like, why do we do that for them? And they come in and I'm like, oh my god, guys, I guess. I guess, stop it. I have to tell you a story. <laughs> you know, you know. I'm not making fun of them, but you know the type. I like it. It's like you dance and you talk at the same time. I like extra people. Just give me extra. Because I will eat it for breakfast. Because this world is boring sauce. And I want... Like... Well, no. Not boring sauce. Like bland, no flavored oatmeal. And like extra sauce people are like... You know, the berries and the cream and all the fattening shit. You're not supposed to add to it to be healthy. And I would rather eat that oatmeal than boring oatmeal and have, you know, a size 2 waist. Fuck that waist. Give me the berries. <laughs> anyway, here we have <laughs> sexual innuendos. I'm so sorry. Aladdin. So somebody who's trying to reinvent themselves. Or maybe pretends they're a bit like Prince Ali had to go pee under a palm tree. Got a nut stuck up his butt and couldn't set it free. Remember that? I, I can't help it. Every time I think of Aladdin, I turn six and start singing that song. <laughs> Blame my siblings. I don't know what to tell you. We sang that on many car rides and my mom's like, can we sing like Kumbaya? Like, what the fuck are my children singing? <laughs> Jingle balls, <laughs> Batman smells. Like, I don't remember how it goes, but 
Like, we just fucked all the good songs right up. My mom's like, we were great about waste. Prince Akeem, Eddie Murphy coming to America. So this could be someone who's like immigrated here to the States. Could be a different country. Could come from money. Um, trying to live in a more meager world or, or fit in in a world that they're not normally from. We have Conor McGregor. So you could be an athlete. Um, mouthy. Conor's a mouthy little cuss. That, that's like his character. I just look at Conor McGregor as like Sasha Fierce. Because I bet you like Conor McGregor, like the real one, is just like chill, channel surfing. Like what's that mean? And then Conor McGregor who has to like fight people is like, I will fucking kill you! <laughs> you know what I mean? That's completely different. So I, I feel like this person has an, a bit of what public sees and what people in their inner circle see, if that makes sense. I totally just made this a whole unnecessarily longer than normal, and I'm sorry, but you know, when I don't feel good, we're just gonna we're just gonna go off the off the beaten trail, and you can either keep watching, and I love you and thank you, or I feel ya. If you just want to wait till I'm not on cough syrup, right? <laughs> anyway. Let's get your astrology. Sun in Libra, Harmony, and Eclipse in Virgo, Reorganization. Ooh, Twin Flames of the Swans, Harmonious Connection. Like, although there might be some beef or some kind of complication, I feel like whatever this was, um, it was good. And Or if it was never anything, I just feel like this is going to be something really good. Like they can be themselves, like it's going to be equal give and take. And the eclipse in Virgo with this reorganization, um, I feel like this person just maybe wants to restart things or come come at you a different way if like they're friends with you now and they want to be more than friends, that this would be now starting to flirt with you and starting to let you see that they want uh, a love connection here. Or um, they have some atoning to do and they might want to apologize. Um, it could be something small, like some something trivial that happened. And this person's just like replaying it. Like how did it get so out of hand? Like we need to have a sit down and kind of see what the heck is going on here. Or maybe it's not even any kind of beef. It's just feeling the need or a time crunch to tell you how they feel. Take what resonates to you. Moon and Cancer belonging. This person definitely wants to be official. They definitely want people to know that you guys are together. Um, so if there was any like issues of not wanting to make it public or not wanting to let, yeah, this person wants new beginnings. They might want to start with friendships, go in a new direction. Um, or it can be completely the different way if you've been kind of like friends with benefits this person wants to flip the script and belong to each other as in move in together make it official no more fucking around we're not just having fun this is like you're my person I'm your person locking it down and if that's not what it is now this is this person's intention whether they got to apologize and make things up to you or they just need to come forward and say hey I have feelings for you whatever it is this is what their intentions are so let me put my bathrobe back on I've been watching uh, I scroll like the top shows because I'm, I'm doing my research for our podcast on Monday which is pop culture packs a punch so I'm looking for stuff that's relevant and popular forget what it's, it's like selling sunsets or something those girls make me feel bad about myself <laughs> i to live in la like everybody is like a size two like how do you guys do it you just none of you never eat like what is the deal anyway i got sucked into that loop I don't know why I feel the need because I did talk about buying houses um, 
And then the show just popped in my head. So maybe someone's in real estate. Because I don't normally... I like watch real estate shows like Island Hunters is my my favorite. Or like Flip or Flop, Fixer Upper. I like those shows. I don't normally watch like this kind of shit. It's like more reality TV. I like that girl. What's her name? Nick Cannon's baby mama. I like her. I feel like she's the only like I don't think any of them are that real but like you know I could hang with that one <laughs> anyway we have intimacy so this person is thinking about sex thinking about but it isn't just like this person doesn't just want sex with you and I think this is something they want to make a hundred percent clear to you um They could be thinking about your sexual interactions, especially like, let me bring it back to the beginning, we have maturity popping and self-respect. This could have been something that you did with somebody when you were younger. Like this could have been your first experience with the same sex or your first experience as a trans or whatever your situation was. Um, you just weren't in a place to be out and open and loud and proud and I feel like this person owned who they were. They were very mature. They had self-respect and either they showed you either this is who you're with now and this person like is it your first experience or they just are the first real experience. It like was the real deal like showed you what it wasn't just about a sexual connection. It's not just about somebody to have fun with. It's about buying a home. It's about having kids. It's about settling down. Like This person wants to give you all of these things, but I can't express enough the fact that they have never wanted this before you. Even if they were married, even if they had other things, like they either did it because they thought that's what was supposed to be done or they just were covering up the truth they weren't ready to face. But you're the real deal. Like this is somebody who, you know, they can be their authentic self with you. Um, they've grown up. They've changed. They want to come back and court you the correct way. Maybe they date, made you date them in secret. Or maybe they felt made you feel like they were ashamed. And so this could have been the catalyst to your breakup. And this is something they deeply respect. They or deeply regret. They have deep respect for you. Um, and being this honest, open person. Either you influence that in them and don't realize that. This could be something they're telling you like you made me okay with being who I am and making my choices because you're so confident. Or, you know, I got to know you, we were friends, and now I want to date you. I have respect for you. I, 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 you have made me grow up and change. Like, I don't know what way they're coming at you. If it, it's a level of we dated and I need to patch things up. Or I'm your friend and I want to date you. Or this is just somebody who admires you, like a secret crush. I don't know. This is collective. It could be all of them. But this person, like, you are their everything. Like, I don't feel any fake shit. I don't feel like any play games kind of shit. Um, I do feel like they're a little scared that you might bark at them a little bit. I do feel that <laughs> with the defense. They might feel like, oh, this person's back. Because they... For some of you, I feel like this person did hurt you. Like, they either, like, would have sex with you and stuff, but never claim you in public. Like, admit that you were dating. Or they put you in, like, a third-party situation or something like that. Or they just didn't pick you. They just didn't, you know, something. Let's see. Let's get some feelings. Collective ones are a bit hard to follow sometimes. Praying for you. Yeah, this person's trying to manifest you back. And right on the last deck before I put the cards back was manifestation. So yeah, this person's trying to manifest you back in their life. I'm with someone, but I have feelings for you. Oh dear. So I definitely feel like it was true. Like I just said, um, at some point they put you in a third party i don't know if they still are or what have you but that's acknowledgement here blunder maker 
I made a blunder of it. I just want to kiss and make up. I wish I could take it all back. Instead, I will just have to prove that I am sorry and that I learned from the challenges. Yeah, they're sorry for putting you in a third party, for making you feel like you weren't good enough, um, for making you feel like they were ashamed of you in any way. I miss you. Do you miss me? Yeah, they think about you all the time. I'm coming to see you soon because I can't stand to be apart from you any longer. You're waiting on them to make a move because they know you're waiting for them. You make me nervous. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> Please don't yell at me. You might. Maybe they deserve it. In your feels. Yeah, this person feels like they fucked up. They want to grovel at your feet. Like, please, I'm so stupid. Forgive me for my stupidity. <laughs> Make love, not war. They don't want to fight. They don't want to fight. They just want to love you. Hmm, that's cute. Let's get some feelings. And again, I don't know what energy you're in, so I'm going to draw some feelings. Whoever's in the masculine energy, whoever's in the feminine energy, this could be you and your person, or this could be... Remember what I said, everybody has masculine and feminine energy, so this could be your same person, feelings from both energies. Take what resonates to you. Start with the divine feminine energy. I want to see where this goes. Yeah, they want to take this from friendship. Oh my god, my nails are dirty. I was playing in my dirt by my window because I want to buy some stuff and make a little seating out there, but... They'll probably yell at me for doing that because they're dicks <laughs> to me. <laughs> well, not normally. Just that weird email came out of nowhere. Let us hope we have no more problems. I don't want to have to move again. <laughs> until I'm like buying a house. Like, I'm just going to stay here until I buy a house. Point blank period. <laughs> Every renter, every place you rent is going to have an issue. And I feel like it's very minimum here and it's very close to my job. It's quiet. I don't normally have any issues. There's enough for turnaround. I don't get sick of anyone either. <laughs> I want to move in together. Oh my God. So yeah, that real estate, maybe they are wanting to buy a house. See? Sometimes they make me bump my gums about relevant shit. Was I not just talking about buying a house? <laughs> That's for not for no reason. I'm no one's side piece. Yep. Don't want to be involved in a third party. They told you this or you told them or I'm sorry, you told them this or you know, vice versa. Longing for your touch, but they still miss you, whoever's in the divine feminine. I don't want to have to sit down about Oh, I want to have a sit down about where this is going. Seeing shit. Maybe there is somebody trying to get in, interfere here. Maybe the third party isn't going away so smoothly. I'm not going to wait forever. Yeah, this divine feminine's like, like, hello. <laughs> Either tell me shit or get off the pot energy. That boss, like, what are we doing? Miranda Priestley, like, hello? T my time is money, honey. Like, what are we doing? <laughs> You're stuck in your head about us. I want to have kids with you one day. I will listen to you. I will give you a chance to explain. So they're acknowledging to you, Divine Masculine, that they will come in and let you talk. They're not going to bark at you. So relax. I forgive you, Pop. But it didn't come out. So I think they're going to wait to hear what you have to say before they let you know that but that's their truth they do forgive let's talk about the divine masculine and how they're feeling or this could be your person's divine masculine energy thoughts i envy that you're doing so well without me i want more than sex with you we said that earlier they're just backing me up here. That's not just about sex. I love it. Thank you, Spirit. I wish I told you my truth. I've been lying to you. You saw right through me. You tried to warn me, and I didn't listen. I feel like such a fool. I'm so embarrassed by the mess I caused. 
How can I look you in the face after all I've done? You were always the one I loved. No matter how hard I tried to push you out of my mind, the stronger my love for you got. I'm so in love with you. I'm sorry for it all. I wish I could take it back and do it over with you. They picked someone else over you. And you told them, you told them that was the biggest fucking mistake of their life, that this person was going to ruin them. That they were going to be bad news, and that's exactly what they are, and that, that's why their tails between their legs. Because you were right, Collective. You were right. Ouch. That's a big shit sandwich to eat. Like, you lost the love of your life. And you had to apologize. And you just feel like an ass hat. Ooh. Let's get some more details about what's going on. But, you know, don't make it easy. They hurt They hurt you. Make sure they're serious. Do your due diligence. But don't make them suffer either. I feel you collect it. You hurt too. You cried too. You're going to stand there like this. You're going to be defensive. I feel you. Guard that heart. Don't let nobody hurt you twice. Do your due diligence. But... Don't do it for too long. Don't do it for too much or you'll lose out if you really want it. Sacred purpose, eternal flame, and central legacy. Like you were meant to be in each other's life. You were always meant to teach each other a lesson, Spirit is saying. You do have a purpose. You had a purpose in this person's life and it was to show them to to respect and value love. Whether you take this person back or not, that was the purpose. You taught them to love correctly you were a healer and a light worker in their life and this person at least wants to thank you for that power over difficulty reclaiming your power you had to stand up for yourself this person at one time didn't treat you the way you deserved or didn't value who you were to them and it caused a rift here but i think the relationship between you two despite everything that went on despite everything happened it survived it survived this difficulty this person tried to forget about you you tried to forget about them you tried to move on they tried to move on but there's still an uh, element of unfinished here and like i said in the beginning of the reading retrograde is about things coming back so the difficulty is meant to end and ha you're meant to have the sit down uh, I'm going to leave whether you take this person back with you because I haven't seen anything like where it's saying that mirroring energy here. I think it would be beneficial for you to hear this person's side and very healing for you, but I'm not necessarily s sold that you are available for this person or interested in rekindling it. But it might come out. We have Divine Masculine. So this person is in the Divine Masculine energy. They're confirming the Divine Masculine thoughts we just read was theirs, that they had blundered it, um, that you had warned them, and they are understanding that if you guys are a twin flame, they are saying, I am your, your Divine Masculine energy. Healing the heart. Yeah, this person... You know, I know we don't like to see the other person's part, but people inflict wounds because they're also hurt and unhealed. So this person realized all the hurt really and where it stems from and had to do the work. So this divine masculine is standing back up in their power because they have healed their heart. They are mature. They are open and willing and receptive in a way they weren't before. Wisdom, yeah. They are more spiritual. They are understand what this connection is. They understand the value of love. Um, I don't feel like, in my opinion, this person would depreciate you or disrespect you in any way. I feel like this person very much worships the ground you walk on, but that isn't enough to be with someone. You have to have that same level of love and respect back, and I don't really see that here just yet. Courage. This person is trying to gain the courage to come forward. Maybe they um, might want to do it in a song or um, write you a letter or some creative way to thank you for um, the wisdom, for teaching them 
basically that they were an asshat for taking them out of like a really 3D based mentality and really opening up to their spirituality shamanic journey this person is healing you you changed their life you were the catalyst to bring them back to the light and and really transform and put them on a, a spiritual purpose as well wow that's big achievement and you achieved something i feel like this person was family to you um sex love all that regardless friendship this person was is like the other half of your soul and whether you guys never wind up together again i think you're always going to um be friends or always like reach out every couple years and just be like hey how's it going like this person and you it's like your souls imprinted on each other through an experience through aging through coming out together through rough traumatic situations whatever it was it's like you have this trauma bond but at the same time the happy you know with trauma bonds there's sometimes you know it can go very de negative and I feel like at some point it was very negative between you two but that trauma bond became a love bond, bond because you were able or will be able to see this person's side of it and this person sees your side of it and it's like you're taking yourselves out and you're becoming healers like you're embracing the spiritual aspect of who we are as people what it means to love and the only way to really appreciate and to respect that is by becoming family with someone, by becoming someone's spouse, by becoming homeowners together, by owning pets together, by having children together, by creating things together, you know, it just deepens your connection. So I just feel like no matter what happens here, you're you're meant to create and and go through life together. Even if it's like a kooky, weird, like you guys stay friends and you guys have spouses and their spouses are friends. Like you guys are just going to, you're going to be in each other's life. I don't know if it's because you live in the same community, work in the same office or something like that. But I do feel like a sit down is about to happen to really smooth this out and it's very needed. So I do feel like it's a good thing. But like I said, I don't, I'm not necessarily, yeah, calming the waters. Peace will be made. Uh, life will go back to stillness, but I'm not necessarily sold that you're going to be like, yes, I love you. Let's go back. Like, because I do feel this very defensive. You're going to have to work for me. And you're going to have to work hard with this tenacity. Like, this person, you, you're not showing them shit. But I do feel like you will go with the flow. I do feel like you you feel you can make money together, that you create good things together. There's things to be kept and there's things to be released and it's going to happen and it's going to be very beneficial. So, good stuff. If this resonated, please like below. If you liked the reading, like my energy, please like and subscribe. Share to anyone who may need this message and I appreciate you guys. I'm sorry they're late and I'm cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs this week. But sinus infections suck and I don't recommend ever having one <laughs> if you can help it <laughs> love and light see you soon bye toodaloo boo boos